Hello, this is Hophead um, from Chick Beer with Hophead and Porter. And uh, I normally don't do videos or reviews or whatever without Porter, but uh, she's not here. And I got a growler of beer from my friend Jeff um, from Washington. So I wanted to um, have some and tell you about it because I figure it's probably not going to be, it's going to be gone before the next time she's here anyway. Um, and likely if I tried to save some, I don't know that it would make it. So what I'm drinking is the Georgetown Red um, right here. And you can actually see it is a little bit reddish, although more brown than, you know, red. Um, so this is just going to be a quick little review. Thank you so much for sending this, Jeff. I'm really excited. It smells awesome. It smells uh, bitter, a little hoppy, but with like a nice deeper sort of undertone to it that uh, smells good. And it had a nice head when I poured it, which was about... I don't know, like 30 seconds ago. So um, it went away kind of quickly, but the, what's there is lacing the, the glass nicely. So let's taste it. That's good. <clears throat> mm. That's really interesting. That's I didn't really know what to expect from this. Um, let me show you guys the growler, too. It's worth that clear in the fridge. Um, <clears throat> there we go. The Georgetown Brewing Company right here. Very cool. I love the, um, we like beer just sitting on there. It's pretty cool. So this is the, this is the brewery right here. Um, and, uh, that is good. That's, uh, it's got a real sort of bitter, it's got a bitter front and a bitter back, which is kind of cool. And then, um, it's, you know, seems, seems pretty mellow in the middle there. Um, let me have some more. I'm feeling, I'm tasting, uh, what I believe is barley. Um, but it's, it's real faint because really what I'm getting most is this nice sort of bitter, sort of hoppy uh, feel to it. This is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely tasting grains. Um, <clears throat> but again, there's nothing sort of overwhelming. It's all just a nice mix of different flavors. This is very good. I like it. And I'm so excited that I have an entire growler. What? Um... So yeah, um, I don't, I'm not going to go through the whole normal spiel we do. I just wanted to, to, to talk about this a little bit because, like I said, I'm not going to get a chance to do it with Porter. Um, but I'd be willing to bet that this would go really nicely with uh, probably a lot of things. But what I would probably want to have it with is like a, a, nice, a nice cut of beef, um, you know, um, and I like my beef cooked rare. So something like that with, uh, you know, some pepper, maybe a little what would be, I think, really key would be a little bit of spice on the meat. Um, little, maybe a little hot sauce. Uh, Tabasco might work, although, I don't know, that might be a little too, too thin. Something a little thicker might be nice. Because uh, this beer is, it's, it's, uh, it's not heavy or anything like that. It's also, it feel, it's got a thin mouth feel, um, which is good. I, I, I personally, I, I like that. Um, you know, but having some sort of, you know, if you're going to eat something with it, having a thicker sauce on that, I think would really sort of give the character, you know, the mouthfeel of the beer a bit more body, um, which would really round it out nicely. So that's my, uh, you know, my quick little review of the Georgetown, let me show you that again, Georgetown Brewing Company's Red, which um, Jeffrey told me it won first place uh, at the contest he was at. Um, I guess it was about a week or maybe two weeks ago, something like that. Um, it's really good. If you get a chance, I would absolutely try it. I would totally buy a six pack. Um, so yeah, and Jeff, I'm still working out what I'm going to send you in return, but it's going to be something equally as nice. You've definitely put me up to, uh, to a challenge here because this is really good. So thanks again, and we'll see you on our regularly scheduled chick beer show later in the week.